Ladies and gentlemen, our guest now is Uli Ritzla from Germany. He is a representative of Public Interest Registry. Thank you. Please, could you introduce us in a few words, your NGO? Well, I am proud to work for Public Interest Registry. Public Interest Registry is the operator of the .org domain name space since the year 2003. We are a non-for-profit. Um, we are um, working with people around the globe who are engaging with our brand, who bring their communities online, who show that they have a passion, a mission, and a cause. And uh, they can do this with any other TLD. They can do it on a .com, and they can do it under their local CCTLD, like .fi, .se, .ee, whatever. But most uh, organizations choose .org because it's, it's a trusted brand online, and it's a familiar household name by now in the internet community. But how could you empower the other other people's voices and love to hear them tell their own stories? Um, I think what we can do is giving the opportunity of their own space online. I think it's really important that people um, outside the walled gardens, such as Facebook, um, Google+, Twitter, um, have their own secure space online and uh, their website. And I think a, a space like .org gives them that, that opportunity. And keeping that space open and free for an affordable price uh, to communities all around the world is what we can do. And secondly, I think it's very important to operate in such a namespace mm -hmm. in an open and transparent way um, with, with policies that are um, you know, acceptable to the Internet community. So we took a short look at uh, your activities and we found that many of your NGO are expert speakers who share their experience with the public. So what kind of subjects you are focusing on? Well, as we are non-for-profit, um, um, we have like two ways of, of, of engaging with our community. First of all, it's about the technical side or the marketing side. Uh, how you use the .org domain name, how you get a .org domain name, uh, what's important and why we, would you get one. The other side of our activities embraces policy work. We have a department that is working for the open and free internet uh, together with our colleagues at ISOC. Um, we're making sure that um, uh, domain name distribution is guaranteed by, by ICANN in an open and fair manner. And working in these working groups internationally is uh, one of our core um, objectives. So our last question, it's about uh, the result or uh, the success of this NGO. So Public Interest Registry has managed the, the ORG domain with more than 10 million domains in uh, about more than 200 countries. Mm -hmm. So uh, could you tell us what was the secret of this success for just more than uh, a, a decade? Um. Well, when we started, well, when .org started, it was 1985 when the internet was born. We are one of the original top-level domain names globally, together with .com, .net, .gov, .mil. Um, I think what over time worked in our favor, of course, is we were original. We were there, and we were just easy to recognize and re-recognize again. Um, secondly, since Public Interest Registry started to take over the management of the .org namespace in 2003, I think we were able to communicate that brand and the values that go with it uh, more efficiently than before. We gave it a meaning and uh, noticed that we are embracing the communities that grew ar around us in the .org namespace um, in a way that made them appreciate that there's a provider that is operating in a transparent and open manner. Um, of course, you know, there's also you know, um, good collaboration with our registrar partners out there. So the people that actually make the domain name available to everybody. So making sure that you know, it's visible and that it's a, a good brand that you can trust is a second, part, a second element of our success. Mr. Uli Ritzlav from Public Interest Registry in the United States, thank you so much for answering to our questions. I have to thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.